is dark social and should we fear it? It probably has many means. I see it as like social that is more private and that is uh, a little bit behind the firewall, so to speak. So um, texting, DMing on Instagram, um, private communities like you know Slack. And um, that's getting a lot bigger. That's kind of where it, it feels like that's where social's going, really. Um, there's just so much action there versus public facing social. It feels like it's kind of dying off really outside of the passive stuff. Right. So um, I think that's going to be where people focus their efforts in the next few years, but um, I guess time will tell. So our brand's going to be sliding into our DMS. Is that what's Well, that's the happen? question. I don't know how we do it from a brand perspective, but we're, that's to be TBD, I guess. Yeah. Kate to you, what's dark social. <laughs> Well, yeah, so I had to look this up because it sounds so scary. Um, but uh, but then when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is a, for me, like I said, I feel like I keep coming back to this. But, you know, when I when I write something, to have a human share it with another human feels like the most meaningful uh, outcome. And that's when I kind of, it has started to sort of subconsciously and now consciously inform when I think about um, what I want to write. Like, uh I want to, the idea of writing something that someone will send to their friend and be like, we were just talking about this or like, you know, this reminded me of you. Like that feels like such a, um, a that feels like, like what it, why I want to write is I want people to feel seen. And I, I honestly think it's kind of refreshing because I grew up or, you know, I um, not grew up but more so like my career started in a world of like clickbait where I was kind of writing things that were supposed to trick people into kind of reading them. And so it's like, I, I am like embracing the shift of like writing something because people feel like they really, um, it really resonates with them. Um, but similarly, I don't know how that gets like, I, cause I, I can't be aware. I, there's no, I don't get a notification when that happens. So mm -hmm. I don't know if it's happening, but I'll, yeah. I'll sometimes see it or a friend will tell me it was sent to them. And that's always nice, but you can't, um, there's no real way to harness it. Um, but I agree that that's where this is going. Cause, um, there's an insider article recently that the group chat concept of the group chat killed social media because everyone's just sharing stuff with their friends. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure we'll find, we'll find a way as we do with everything else to like analyze, monetize it. I don't know what that looks like yet. Things that you can't always track and where you can't control the narrative. So if people are talking about your brand on your own social profile, like you can delete the comment, you can respond, but here it's like totally out of your hands and you can't necessarily even know that it's happening. Like Kate and Eric said, if I text a link to somebody or something like the brand can only see so much, you know, oh, you oh, like I can track the Google analytics that this got read this many times, but how was it necessarily shared all the time? And I know that platforms are trying to harness that as much as possible. Like I know if I text a TikTok to a friend, like if I send it to a friend who doesn't have TikTok, they're going to see my profile at the top, trying to like encourage them to join. And if, if they, if they're on TikTok and I am too, and they send it to me, like I'll see um, that they opened it. So I know we're, we're trying more and more to crack down on that dark social to track everything. And it's just not possible. And I was thinking about this yesterday and, and the dark social topic, and I would almost go out on a limb and say that that reddit can be a dark social place because you can't brands can't really be there the way they can on other platforms and so they can't really control what's being said about them and while you can search your brand name and and who's talking about you it's it's not trackable in the way that it is on other platforms and so i think that that is in its own way a dark social platform to kind of keep an eye on of where you're being talked about because it's definitely a place where people are talking about you if they have strong feelings Oh yes, um, if you have, if you have the stomach for it, uh, go go see if they're talking about you on Reddit. It's funny because the name Dark Social, like that comes from people who do marketing attribution, so Google Analytics, and they're just like, well, it's dark because we can't track it, and it's just like, all right, but it it takes the surveillance factor out of out of so uh, out of social media, which is I one of the things that I think people really like. It's like, I don't want to be tracked anymore. That's why I'm sending this to you is because I don't want to get a gazillion ads about um, this word I mentioned one time. 